Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Curl Space Program 0 0.90 Beta. In this episode I am dealing with some dual matters. Uh, we are getting these missions into the dual system. However, our emergency habitat only has 90 days worth of food, water, and oxygen for our two Kerbals that we rescued from the lunar base. So I have to pay attention to that. It takes a while to get from uh, dual encounter, dual SOI, to Jewel itself. For instance, this mission, the Quad Probe Pack, we take a look. We've got a Jewel Encounter in 31 days, Jewel Periapsis in 46. So, we'll have to see how much of the maneuvering I can do before I need to check out what's going on with that emergency hab and get them back home. And of course, I'll have a little bit of a trick to do that without the game crashing. This is not the first time that I've tried to send four probes on a single launch to Jewel. Actually, in my very first KSP series on this channel, I tried the same thing and failed miserably. So we'll see how this goes, whether these can get into orbit around four different moons of Jewel. That's, that's the trick here. Anyway, uh, time warping now, and let's get it into Jewel SOI. Now, the thing to do, because we're not going to use Jewel to aerobrake, uh, Probably it'd be safe in 0.90, though I do have daily re-entry and all. Uh, but I've been conditioned by version 1.0 of KSB just not to trust uh, the gas giants for that sort of thing. So, I want to hit possibly lathe. And that'll be convenient so we can drop off that probe. Um, but maybe Tylo can also slow us down. So I want to do a maneuver that uh, leads one of those to help us out. Okay, well we've got a Leif encounter there. Not much of a correction necessary, and that's, uh, that's a crash into Leif and a crash into Jewel. So that's not going to be any good, but uh, we can fine tune that. And that looks like a pass around Leif and orbit around Jewel. So that's satisfactory. No further burning required, all we need is 11.6 meters per second, so I will take that. We would like this mission to get into a polar orbit, or at least an inclined orbit. wonder if that's possible. Or whether that will just mess everything up. Ah, that will mess, every mess everything up because um, our inclination out... Ooh, that's nice. This gives us a Tylo encounter. Well, this, well, that, but also that uh, we can't really see what happens after the Tylo encounter. But okay, well, we'll fix that after we get through Lathe. We'll figure out uh, what to do about that. But oh no, there, there we go. That's that's what happens after a Tylo encounter. Maybe we can adjust that just a little bit. Yeah, that is a little bit curious. Well, anyway, this pass at Lathe does get us into into orbit around jewels so we don't have to worry about that it's just this Tylo thing that we may or may not want coming in like that we'll be going pretty fast at lathe I don't know if the probe has enough juice to get into orbit if we do that you might wanna wait until another pass around lathe Le getting into a rendezvous with lathe is not very hard so may uh, we'll want to wait on that until we're slower instead of decoupling the probe immediately. Forget how much Delta V I put on these probes. I mean, taking a look at it... Oh, now we have Precise Node as well. Well, let's use Precise Node then. So that inclination, that extra inclination is annoying. If we make another maneuver, let's say right around here. Can we fix that up so it's not so bad? I'm glad I added some extra patch conics levels here. Now that's pretty flat. It's not the flattest I could come up with, I think. Let's see. Ah! What what, what happened? Hey, I didn't do that. Oh, passed the maneuver note, I guess. Um, That's not good. 
Okay, this time I will fix the title thing after I do this burn, because otherwise it will get messed up. Let's do this now. I've got all these maneuver editors in the way. Let's get on with it. Careful now. Careful. Leith encounters and nothing to be trifled with. Okay, that looks like the planned maneuver. Now, let's see if we can fine-tune it after a leaf pass there, because that's nice and close. I'm gonna fix it up here. Well, we've got a very low jewel periapsis there. And a leaf encounter there, which means that we're not too high on inclination. That's always good. But the low dual periapsis is obviously not acceptable. I wonder where the 1000 is coming in. Oh, because we haven't passed the Leith encounter yet, that's why. So uh, here we've got a Tylo encounter, and then we're passing Leith again here. A little bit high, and actually not quite as slow as I'd like still. Hmm. But I can't see what happens after. Oh, uh, and we're crashing into Jewel. I'll leave that be for now. At least we stay in orbit around Jewel. That's the most important thing. That Tylo doesn't fling us out. I'll work on the rest afterwards. First, let's get into orbit around Jewel. And but does anything else happen before that? Yes, the Bop probe gets into Jewel sphere influence. So let's add this to our to-do list. Okay. Now let's focus on the Bop probe. So this is a complicated business because this clearly is meant to land on Bop and return back to Kerbin, hence the parachute and the heat shield. So this is a science probe as well as the other one which was a scan uh, set of four scanner probes. And let me just take a look at our contract for this. I'm sure we have one, right? Yes. I land on Bob. Transmitter. We don't actually have to bring it back if uh, if that becomes unfeasible, but we do have these pipe endpoints so that we could refuel this and get it back. It's got 4,000 meters per second, so you know it's not like we have too much of an excuse. Let's see how much it would take to get to Bob. So let us enter the Jewel SOI, and I'll use the same trick, I suppose. We might as well since it saves delta v. If we can get uh, an encounter with Lathe, that's the idea. I hate to trust Lathe with so much of this stuff, but you know, if it works, it works. For those who don't know, uh, I have previously stranded in uh, live streaming. I stranded some tourists on Leif, so I don't trust it anymore. That was because an arrow break ended up being too shallow. So targeting Leif again. Tylo would work too. And maybe keeping it high... Yeah, maybe we can try Tylo. I don't know if that'll work out for us or not. Nope, this one is definitely... Oh no, that that is Tylo. Hmm. Very close to Jewel, but not that close. Okay, I thought that was Val for a sec there. Doesn't look like right now that Tylo encounter is really bringing us to where we need to be. It's too far away. Ah, uh, Leif has taken over. Maybe I should just set Bop as target and see if we can't do something about this. Now if I could make ridiculously fine-tuned burns, I could probably hit Bop like right around there. With a uh, Leaf Pass and a Tylo Pass, mind you. Uh, but I don't think, even if I could plot such a burn, I don't think I could do it. Oh well, uh, here we've got two passes. It's a little bit low around Jewel. Maybe we can... Yeah, that's safe around Jewel. We really don't need this end to be so low, but hey, 
This is pretty simple, 6.7 meters per second even. So we'll try it and we'll verify that we're not crashing into anything after doing it. Uh, hmm. That's not the orbit I was looking for. Just goes to show. Um, hmm. Will Tyler take me again? Okay, good, good. There we go. Uh, okay. That's a bit too tight around, Jewel. Oh, but turning. Uh, I see. Okay, can we at least clear Lath and Tylo? Yes, we're not crashing into either of those. We may be crashing into Jewel, but we can boost that up at Jewel Apoapsis. Okay, because right now, just turning around changes that. Okay, it's the SOI change that we're adding there. Here we are with the Paul probe and it looks exactly like the Bob probe because it has exactly the same job, land on Paul and then return back with the science. Uh, of course Paul is different than Bob but hopefully it'll work out as well. In any case we'd be able to refuel it in case it doesn't have enough fuel to get back home. So yes. Um, the thing is that if we transmit the science, well, we just have to transmit one piece of science to fulfill the contract, so it's all right. We'll transmit whatever science is least lucrative in terms of getting back home, and then we'll try and bring back the rest. Okay, so let's bring this into Joul SOI. It's entering in five days. And just a reminder, I am using 24-hour time in this series, so that is uh, 20 Kerbal days, Kerbin days, if you will. Okay, so uh, we'll see whether we can get the same sort of deal with this one that we did with the other ones. Getting into orbit around Joule with very little work, just a minor burn to get an encounter. It seems like we already have an encounter. Hold on. Uh, well, I'll focus on Leif for now. Uh, yeah, we already have an encounter with Leif, though it's a little bit close, isn't it? Uh, it's going to get us into a crash course with Joule. So let's loosen that up a bit, and that's all we need to do. I think I'll just get into orbit around you like this. It's loose here, high there, but we're trying to reach Paul, so that's not a huge problem. Could make it a little bit tighter. I think that's pretty satisfactory. We've got a pass at Tylo again. Maybe I can get around that. Uh-oh. Now it's encountering late here and here? No, I can't do that, right? Okay, uh, no, that's too low. Too low at Jewel. What can we... Okay, there we go. Alright, that should be safe. Give it a little bit more margin. So we can add that SOI change. Okay, so now the quad probe pack is getting into lathe SOI and then we have to do its maneuver once that exits. That's the next thing to do. I hope I haven't forgotten queuing up anything here. Otherwise that thing is probably doomed. Let's see, this is the quad probe pack. This is the bot probe, that's the Paul probe. Water fountain's gonna enter Jewel SOI somewhere in the middle of all this. Technically, I don't have to uh, monitor this. Curve alarm clock will probably slow me down, right? And it'll do a good job of this. There's Lathe. Okay, let's see what the situation is. We'll delete on close there. So we're entering Lathe encounter. It's a safe pass around Lathe. And then we have to correct to make our pass around Tylo which will bring us to an okay orbit. Oh, and then we hit Lathe again. Uh, well, it seems to be all right after that as well. I So here's the thing, I don't know. Well, let's see, how much delta V would it take for us to, let's go to this screen, to get into orbit around Lathe. Let's time warp to the encounter. 
let's just say I wanted to drop off a probe and that's actually our second pass after we pass Tylo and uh, it's not letting me make a maneuver it's not letting me make a maneuver uh, let's see if we can do this maneuver planner no not that I want to let's say circularize at next periapsis create node um, did it do that? Uh, no, it, it uh, circularized around Jewel. No. And I've condemned that node. No, uh, uh, okay, that's after that node, so let's get rid of that. So, passing by Lathier. We'll come back and get it. Okay, that makes things relatively flat now. Can we make things safe overall? Ooh. Okay, well, how does that do? It looks pretty good. It's not horrible. And it's only 50.7 meters per second. Okay. There was some encounter there, but I'll skip that for now. Probably a leaf thing. Okay, let's uh, let's have a encounter with Tylo and see if we can drop off one of the probes there. I don't know if it'll be a good thing to do or not, but we have to we have to let some of these go at some point. It'll give us a good chance to see whether we've got enough juice or not. Let's add a maneuver to get into orbit. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't take much. Doesn't take much. I think that this probe will be fine. Yep. Okay, so... Well, let's let go of one of the probes and see how it does. Fuel is fine. Activate thrusters. Okay, I'll activate thrusters without using normal staging. And, um, looks like we're backwards. Darn it. We can't control from there. Okay, so we're backwards. I wish we had an invert thing here, but that's just because I put it on backwards, I guess. Or, or maybe I'm not controlling from there. Hold on. Ah, there we go. It was because I was controlling from the docking port. Makes sense. Okay. So, can we get into a polar orbit instead of this thing? That'll be good. So, this is 264 and then 1,075. That's fine. And then the rest of our probe pack will continue on without any delay technically crashing the Tylo at this point, hence the suicide burn countdown, but we're gonna pick ourselves up again. We are already far far away from our other mission, which should be safe. I'll just ignore it for now. Let it pass by Tylo. It could, well, yeah, let's focus on it because it could make a correction. Okay, so I've got a burn at Tylo Periapsis that gets us a uh, fairly okay Val encounter by the look of it. I'm not too sure it's the greatest, but it should work out. And it gets us to 217 kilometers at Val. It's going to cost us 214 meters per second, which is okay. So we got to take advantage of being close to Tylo to make this correction. And I'll be in an hour and 38 minutes, which is right after the Tylo scanner gets into orbit. Okay, so there's Tylo. We gotta find out whether Tylo has any resources to speak of. Okay, uh, well, um, we'll delete on close on that one. I want to keep this one. Okay, so right, node, amber. Let's start all the scanning stuff. 
analyze data? Well, nothing to send, apparently. Maybe there will be some eventually? I don't know. Okay, we're in orbit, but we have to bring it down a bit. Well, we have biomes. Doesn't say anything about water, though. Just gives me the height and midlands or stuff like that. Um, this this says it's oh it's looking for carb this is a carbonite detector sorry 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 okay uh, sorry not ore or anything like that carbonite I mean once you can scan for water and drill for water and convert it to fuel carbonite's sort of passe isn't it okay here we go we do have carbonite concentrations okay so that's working out we can at least scan for carbonite around here let us hop to the quad probe pack Okay, we'll have to pay extra attention to what we're doing since we are past the maneuver node. Get the strange feeling things have gone horribly wrong. Let's not use that maneuver. <laughs> Let me plot something new. Doesn't quite look like it keeps us flat, but it's pretty close. Okay, let's just do this quickly. At least it's... oh, we missed a life chance there. We'll get another one given the look of the resulting orbit after the Val encounter. Good thing that it looks like it's quite balanced even though it's lacking one probe. Oh, there seems to be a possible leaf encounter there. That'll be good. We'll have to adjust the inclination bit, but at least we hit it. Okay. Quad probe pack on its way to Val. Let's get out of Tylo SOI. Okie dokie. So this is a very polar sort of thing. So our probe doesn't need to make any adjustment. The quad probe pack does. It really doesn't want to make this high pass which results in a high inclination. Oh wait, Th that doesn't look polar at all. Cancel that. Anyway, let's separate one of the probes and then we'll get on with business. Try and activate the engines through normal staging, which doesn't work. Okay, so how much is it? Uh, 728 to get into orbit and then 330 for the correction we intend to do here to change our inclination. Changing inclination around Leif will be the most troublesome, so we'll have to pay attention to that. <laughs> Almost failed to check whether we were going to bump into that thing. Good thing it worked out. Okay, now that that's done, I will add its next maneuver here. But let's check up on the quad probe pack and see what we can do about the Leif encounter. Actually, you know what? Uh, taking a look at the Leif encounter, I think I'm going to accept it as it is. Uh, what this does is it keeps it polar, so we don't have to do a radical plane change in the very small small Leif SOI because we'll be very close to Leif and the plane change will cost a lot. So we'll be in polar orbit already for the probe. and. If we take a look, um, if the probe wants to get into orbit here, maybe it'll want to get in close first, but let's just say it goes like that. Well, that costs 1,040, and then it can bring its apoapsis down, so that's pretty safe. Also, keeping it loose like this means that uh, it won't hurt our inclination that much. It still hurts our inclination, but we are eventually going to be either aiming for a bop or paul with the final probe. So maybe this will be alright. Okay, so renaming this little guy to Val Scanner. I should specify Carbonite, huh? Because I don't want us to think that we have a water scanner over here and fail to send one. Okay, here we go. This is suboptimal. Hmm. Ideal for the radar, though. This is wiggling around a little bit. 
Uh, ideal for the resource scan. So, okay, we'll take that. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's down to minimal electric charge. How is that? Oh, the scanning takes a lot of electric charge. Hmm. Stop resource scan. Stop that. Okay. Now we're gaining electric charge again. Got the polar thing going. So, apparently not enough power. Well, at least at the angle we're in, we should be facing the sun though. Oh, oh, well no, the sun is right there. Hmm. So, suboptimal power situation. But not a problem. We are going to get into orbit. That's fine, and we're going to start the multi-spectral scan even though it'll guzzle our electric charge and this and we'll let it proceed on its own okay so that is done let's continue with the rest of the missions okay this is an interesting image because there's Val, there's Tylo that's Leif, uh, Jewel obviously and the Sun but we're actually headed this way so here we go out of Val SOI Everything's been going swimmingly so far on our jewel expedition, except for the fact that I probably should have put water scanners instead of carbonite scanners. Okay, um, there we go. We've got a lathe encounter now. Should be a pretty good one. Gonna add the alarm just in case I accidentally mess things up by time warping too quickly. But, yep. Yeah. It's definitely the next thing we need to do. The bop probe doesn't get in before we'll be done with this, I think. Or it might take a little bit of time to get out to Paul or Bob with this sort of uh, scanner thing. Okay, let's let go of a probe. There's Lathe waiting for us. I'm going to plot its orbital burn doesn't need to make a correction. We could pull it in closer, but I don't think it's necessary. Carbonite scanner. Alright, all set. Now, that portion. We want to hit Bop or Paul. I don't know but is there any way to take advantage of Leif in this situation? Nah, I'm thinking the answer is no, at least not from before the encounter. Maybe at periapsis, but it seems pretty hefty to make any sort of adjustment over here. You can see just a little bit of adjustment costs a lot. We'll try and head over to apoapsis and then correct things. I didn't put the alarm for the other portion. Let me let me add a maneuver out here. Let's see what that does for us in terms of hitting either Bop or Paul. Oh, there it is. It's gonna cost 1,286 to do this, but this is our last probe, so maybe it's all right. Oh, there's a little tile encounter on the way back in, but we won't need to deal with that. Okay. So this includes an inclination change as well as a prograde burn to boost out. It's a nice encounter there. Not a bad one. Should be okay to make orbit like that. Okay, so let us add that maneuver node in 19 hours. Still before the bop probe has to be dealt with. But more importantly, we need to focus on our lathe probe. Okay, getting ready for shutdown and off. All right, let's head over to Periapsis to get this semi-circularized. Well, not semi-circular, but anyway, you get the point. 
I guess that'll be good enough. Not very circular at all. But let's start scanning. Ideal for the radar. For multispectral, suboptimal. For the the carbonite detection, ideal. Okay. All right. And so the final part of this mission, uh, final part of this quad pro pack. We've sure got a lot of other stuff to take care of, but. Well, at least this is looking pretty good so far. Okay, well, something's gone horribly wrong with my maneuver node here. <laughs> oh, is it? But uh, it's not supposed. It's not supposed to look like this at all, is it? Um, hold on. It was definitely supposed to be in 17 hours, so it's in the right place. It's supposed to be after a full orbit of Ju uh, Jewel. I keep wanting to say Jupiter, but it doesn't seem to be hitting my target right. And then it gives me like, oh, there we go. Paul Periapsis, finally. Okay, so around we go. Let's hope we don't get an encounter with Lathe accidentally. Very expensive, 1,233. But as long as it gets to Paul, it's all right, I suppose. Because its job is done. So just checking on life support, 40 days left for the emergency hab. So that's that situation. Okay, let's see if we've got an encounter or not. Uh, not. That's where, oh no, not the Leif encounter. Um, oh, turning around changes everything. Is, is the, is, no, it's gotta be. Okay, there we go. I was wondering whether the Paul encounter was after the Lathe encounter, but no, it couldn't be like that. Here we go. We've got one. It's got to be quick, though. Two days, so it's next. Um, yeah, it's about an hour, the encounter. That's not that quick. All right, let's go over there. Now, I'll probably want to smash the stage into Paul. So the one that has carried the four probes all this way will have its final resting place on the surface of Paul. Oh, uh, Dres Oasis oxygen is running out? What? Uh, I hope that's just because it had a lot of oxygen to begin with. Um, 35 days though. Hmm. That's troublesome. We have to convert some of the water to oxygen. I don't know if... Is that a thing we can do? We better. Otherwise, those guys are toast. Now let me get this done first, and we'll focus on them. Now, this... This is going to attempt to smash into Paul, which is... in... this direction. Assuming we're controlling right, let's double check. Well, we must be because we've got Delta V here. There we go. It is crashing a Paul. Let's not leave it any fuel. Now this has to get into orbit around the little moon. Okay. So uh, just 614, let's say. Orbital period, 25.45 seconds. I don't think that's quite right. First time I've ever seen it like that before, though. Usually it's negative or some huge number. Okay. Just hold retrograde and take care of the necessary business. So I want to make sure I am controlling from the right end. There we go. Activate the engines. Start the scanners, though uh, probably we should wait until after we do the burn. So let's get off the burn. Oh darn, I didn't create an inclination. Hmm. Yeah, we need to incline a bit too. I don't know if we can do that. Uh, oh, SAS please. Okay, so let's incline a bit and so we'll go like that. Good thing we have a lot of Delta V for this.
Okay, now just retrograde. Whoa, too far, too far. Oops. Okay, that should do. Start radar and start resource scan. Okay, well, now on my mind is this Drez Oasis, so let's hop to that and see if we can save those folks. Whoa, uh, those, uh, those struts have become buggy. That's funny, this was launched after the conversion to 0 .90, but now you can see the struts are offset. Um, now it says water depleted, what the heck? It can't have, what? No, it can't have water depleted. Wait. What? It said oxygen, right? It can't have no water. Why did this happen? It, it's it's got it had huge amounts of water. Um Now this is just messed up. Well, we've got a water purifier, which is okay. That's what, um, I sure don't need the water splitter and it wasn't active. Oh boy. Oh, was the LFO going the whole time? Oh, it didn't create much liquid fuel anyway, so I don't think that's right. We're totally depleted of water. Hmm. That was definitely not what Tack Life Sport was indicating. I did not realize this would happen. Is there any way to... I don't think there's any way to reverse this. But we do know Drez has water, but they're not going to survive very long without it. And I don't know if we're in a position to get them some water. Okay, well, this looks like... Uh, something I need to take care of in the next episode. So we've got a crisis on our hands. Drez Oasis needs water and I'll look into it, that then. But at least our four probes are around moons at Jewel and so that has been a success and I'll leave it at that for this episode.